God, what a beautiful day. And do you know what? It would be really nice to get out on the water today. Yeah, wouldn't it be lovely if there was a way that we could just get out and explore the ocean a little bit? I tell you what, there are a lot of boats around here. It's like, it's almost like there's a public boat ramp around here where you can launch things from. Oh yeah, look, there it is. Interesting. Guys, it's beautiful, isn't it? All right, guys, I'm a terrible actor and I'm so excited to show you this new thing. Uh, you guys probably already know what it is. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been leaving teasers for the last three weeks. I haven't been able to do a full episode because we had to go and do my car. So I've been away. This was the first opportunity that I've got to actually show you guys the latest toy that's coming to the channel. That's going to mean so many epic adventures. It's going to mean summer 2021 is going to be insane. So without further ado, let me show you, let me introduce you to the Sea-Doo Fish Pro. This, guys, is the latest addition to the man cave, and this is what we are going to be ripping today. We're going to go out, I'm going to show you around the thing, and we are going to go on a little mini adventure. Don't think it's lost on me that I am a vegan that is riding a fish pro. <laughs> However, everything that you need to catch a fish is also very handy if you wanna go dive with them. So it has the fish finder, has all kinds of other good stuff on there that makes it perfect for the kind of adventures that I wanna do. So yeah, let's get this thing started. We'll get it unhooked and I'll show you more. <laughs> Look, the jacket's even in my colors. How cool is that? <laughs> I genuinely can't get over the fact that I, me, I have a sea -Doo to go on adventures with. Dude, at least got an ice chest. You guys know that I'm not like a materialistic person. I get my fulfillment from adventure and experience. But I tell you what, it's true what they say. Money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a jet ski. And I've never seen anybody look sad on a jet ski. So what we have here is the sea -Doo Fish Pro. And this is made for fishing, obviously. Uh, so it has things like the ice chest on the back, it also has rod holders that go in the side. Obviously, I'm not gonna be fishing from this thing, but I have got a GoPro back there. It's kind of a little janky. I'm gonna come up with a better solution, but that'll give that cool like computer game third person angle for when we go out on these adventures. The other thing it has is a fish finder. And so this will basically show me how deep the water is, what the bottom looks like. And then it even gives me little fish icons. Look at that. So there was fish back there. We'll do like a full walk around once it's out of the water, maybe on the sub channel. I can go through everything in more detail, but it is just the perfect tool for the adventures that I want to go on. So yeah, I, I just, I can't believe it. One of my favorite things about this is the fact that it has this killer sound system. Look at these speakers. So it has these speakers that are like an optional extra. You can get them on, uh, I'm pretty sure on any model you can get these, but they sound epic. So listen to this. <laughs> it's a stereo on a CD. Once we get past this wall, that's it. We're in the ocean. We're allowed to go fast. So we do mode, mode. So that's now sport mode. So that basically gives us the, uh, the quickest throttle response. It makes it go super fast. First thing I always like to do when I come out of the harbor is go say hi to the seals. So let's go see them. Here we go. They're so cute, but they are stinky. Hey guys. Good morning. You might be able to actually see from here. You see all those big boats down there? I kind of want to go and check them out. I'm a little 
bit surprised we haven't found any dolphins yet. Although it is kind of choppy today. There's definitely uh, more groundswell than usual. Uh, listen, I'm definitely not a professional boatist, so I don't know all of the terms. But I've been told that these waves, the big rolly ones, are called groundswell. Hey, hey, found one. <laughs> oh, I should have said he found me. Hi, bud. Good morning. That's so funny. I'm like, where's all the dolphins? And then they're like, here we are. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where the dolphins are. They don't love me. And then one literally came up to the ski, like Flipper, just like, here I am. Ah, there he is, look, two of them. All right, well, if there's these two, that means that there should be more around somewhere. Where's your friends? I just get so excited when I see dolphins. They just, look at them. They're just so cool. Ah, yeah. What's that? Oh. <laughs> so, this, seriously, this thing is so good. So, my cameras are picking up motion at the house and it's telling me on my fish finder in the ocean while I'm hanging out with dolphins. <laughs> this might be the coolest breakfast I'm about to have ever. A cup of tea and a bagel, Swordsy. In your, uh, in your Sea-Doo branded tea diffuser. <laughs> what a dick. This is gonna be really hot. Hmm, perfect. I need a cup holder. That's what I need. Never thought I'd say that. Do you know what I need on my jet ski? A cup holder, but I do, I need one. Because it'd be great just to put one right there, but I can put it there for now. How did I wrap this? Oh, there it is. Onion bagel and cream cheese. Go on then. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. I didn't expect it to be that good. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, I like this. So I guess while we're here having brekkie, may as well talk to you a bit about the ski, what we're doing today. Like I said, I wanna go and check out, there's some huge container ships down there. It looks like they're being held off the shore of Long Beach. Maybe they can't get in yet, there's not space, I don't know. But I want to go and have a look at just how big they are in the water. Because you see them from the land, but it'd be cool to ride around them. So that's where we'll go. And then just, yeah, cruise around, maybe find some more dolphins, have a brekkie. And then in the future for the channel, the whole point behind this ski is that this has the link system. So I can put this ice chest on the back, which is full of drinks and ice right now. Um, so I can take plenty of supplies with me. It has another area behind that where I can put a fuel cell so I can carry extra fuel. Although this has a really good range anyway. So I could get to Catalina, probably get to, well, no, definitely get to Catalina and back on this on one tank of fuel, but I can carry extra fuel as well. But I was looking last night on Google Maps and there's some cool islands around here. There's the Channel Islands further up north, there's just like a lot of cool stuff right off the coast that I can go and explore. I want to ride down to San Diego as well, go and do like a coastal safari. So, I mean, just so many adventures and that's just the ocean. Then we've got all of the lakes. So I can tow this thing behind the van and go and check out some of the lakes. We can go to Havasu and go party. Like the possibilities are endless. And I just can't wait. Ah, I'm having a bagel in the ocean. Dolphins over there. Yep, there he is. Look, jump in. I think that's fish over there because they're getting rowdy. They're probably fishing. I'm having my brekkie too, lads. Apart from I'm plant based. If you don't eat animals, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm plant based. I sound like an Instagram model, don't I? Plant based. Plant based. Most of that plant is potatoes. <laughs> Guys, you know I always tell you to pick up your rubbish and if you see plastic in the water, pick it up. And as I'm riding along here, there is just so much rubbish just floating. I'm literally having to avoid it so I don't suck it up. But I mean, look, everywhere. So this must be where there's like some currents coming together and it's kind of pushing all of the crap. There's the seaweed as well. There's a lot of stuff, but there is a lot, a lot of floating rubbish, plastic, crisp packets. Uh, just, yeah, look, all kinds of stuff just floating around. Look. 
and this is what the animals eat and it kills them and then this is what the fish eat and it gets into the food so if you do eat meat you do eat fish they're full of stuff like that a target bag you know that i mean i pick up as much as i can but there's so much here i could pick up all day and i wouldn't put a dent in it so if i see anything big floating at the top i'll make sure i get it but this is why it's so important guys because you doing that one little thing, putting that in the bin, picking up the rubbish you see, recycling, it does make a difference. It really does. So you can see the boat right here. So there's tons of them. MSC, uh, Key Line, no, new, NY, I don't know, I can't read it. Oh, NYK Line, another NYK Line. There's tons of them. There's oil rigs over here. So I just figured it'd be fun just to kind of keep cruising that way. You can see how far we've come. So. These uh, skyscrapers over here are sort of in line with where we got out of the harbour. Um, but yeah, we're not that far off of shore. Maybe, I'm going to guess, a couple of miles, three miles offshore. Um, and the fish finder was saying 125 feet. I think it's deeper than that here. I think it gets to a certain depth and then it just can't reach the bottom because it's only a little one on a jet ski, not on a big boat. Um, so I think it's pretty deep here, given the fact they've got these massive ships. So uh, let's go that way and let's go and see how big they are in person. Oh, look who it is. Fancy seeing you guys here. Hey, fellas. Yoo! Wanna go play? Well, I gotta, I gotta go the other way, though. Can we go this way? Let's go this way. Yeah. my fish finder had a dolphin icon. Whoa, there's loads of them. Look, there's seals. <laughs> Hi guys. Were you by any chance over in Newport earlier or are you different ones? Are you LA seals? I feel like I've really gotten control of my composure now when I see a dolphin. I don't know if you ever saw the very first video that I put out. The first time I ever saw dolphins on a jet ski, I kind of lost my shit. And now I feel like I'm more centered. Uh, I'm more in touch with my emotional side so I can keep that in control a little bit more. I don't cry every time I see dolphins, not on camera anyway. Um, but yeah, so here we are. Isn't this an amazing juxtaposition? We have the beauty of nature with the dolphins all out here and the seals. And then we have the ugliness of humanity with this disgusting big container ship just sat out here. But everybody kind of coexists. See, look at me out here, not crying. Just enjoying my time. Oh, it's such a baby one. There was a tiny baby one. Guys, please let me know in the comments. Are you gonna get bored of seeing me riding with dolphins? I'm not, so you're gonna have to tell me because I will keep on doing this and I will keep on filming it. So just let me know if you're like, all right, seen it, dolphins. I could do this every day for the rest of my life. I never, ever, ever get bored of it. Look at the size of it. It's gonna be hard to put into perspective how big this thing is. But if you look, each one of those shipping containers is the length of like a big truck. Imagine those on the back of a big truck on the motorway. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's about 20 racks. I don't know how deep they go, how many they can get across the boat. It, just, it amazes me how that thing even floats. And what's crazy is how still it's sitting. I mean, you can see how much I'm moving around in the water. And that thing is just like, still, just not moving anywhere. That's wild. That, the captain was having a look at me with his uh, little binoculars, making sure I'm not a pirate. <laughs> So it's saying right here that it's 120 feet of water and it's reading it pretty consistently. So if you ever wondered how much water they need, it's 120 feet. Look how tiny I am. 
So basically this right here, uh, this is like Seal Beach, Sunset Beach, and then as you go a bit further up, it's Long Beach. And that's where the major port is. In fact, it's right there, you can see it on the horizon. That's the major port. So all of these boats are waiting to either go in or I don't know, I'm not a seaman, but uh, yeah, that's what they're doing. They're just kind of hanging out and probably gonna go into Long Beach at some point. And so, <laughs> that's so cool. I don't know if that means get out of the way or if that's just him being cool, but that's awesome. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I definitely just pooed a bit then when he did that. I wonder what the driving test is like for one of these. I wonder if you have to like, you know, learn to drive a small boat first or if they're just like, ah, no, sod it, just get in the big one. Wow, did you see that? <laughs> well, that first one that we just went to makes this one look like a toy boat. I mean, this thing is still absolutely enormous. But compared to that one, it's much, much smaller. So what have we got on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's probably twelve rows. Oh, I'm on the back. Fifteen or something rows. So not quite as big. But look how high out of the water it's sitting. So that red line, when it's fully loaded, will be under the water. And so you can see the... Uh, <clears throat> Again, uh, I'm no seaman, but uh, the rudder, the rear blast hole, ballast, phalange. There's a bit sticking out the back, but probably should be sticking out the back when it's fully loaded. Another guy coming to look. That's funny, so they all come out and have a look. They're like, uh-oh, is that a pirate? So you just give them the old peace sign and they seem happy. So, I don't know if you can see, but there is a seal sitting on that thing that's sticking out. There's actually a seal lying on it, asleep. <laughs> I wonder how loud it is when this thing starts up. <laughs> they are gonna get a rude awakening. And then my tiny little jet ski. Epic. All right, so I think what we'll do now is we will head more sort of inland and then we'll go back along the coast and we'll just see what we can see out there because there's nothing else that way apart from Catalina about 20 miles away. So we'll just go in, kind of shoot up, see what happens. So that is Huntington Beach Pier. So what's funny is I like to drive from Newport down PCH and I go kind of past Huntington down to Seal Beach and back again. And it's like a cool run to do in the car because you drive next to the ocean, whatever, nice straight road. And now I'm doing it on a jet ski and uh, there's dolphins in the background uh, photo bombing me. So yeah, I just figured this would be a great place to stop and actually just kind of have some real talk. Um, you guys know that I've been wanting to get a jet ski, a sea -Doo for a while. Um, and when I did this first trip out, when I rented the GTI from uh, Balboa Water Sports, I knew then that I wanted one. And so from that day, I started to save money so that I could buy one. I also emailed the footage that I got that ended up on uh, not just local news, but national news, weirdly. It got picked up by the news channels, me riding with the dolphins, getting all excited. And somebody in Michigan messaged me on Instagram and was like, oh my God, I just saw you on the news. And I was like, where are you? And he's like, Michigan. That's a weird place to be showing like California dolphin videos. But anyway, I sent all of that information across to sea and uh, they were pretty stoked on it. And so I got talking to their guy, their marketing guy, James. And so he's like, look, Look, let's talk in uh, February, which is when they got their new marketing budget. And he's like, we'll see what we can do. So because I didn't want to hang my hopes on that, I started to save the money. And so when it got to February, I had enough or I have enough saved to go out and buy a jet ski, go out and buy a Sea-Doo. Now, I didn't buy this one. This was given to me by Sea-Doo as part of this sponsorship where basically they give me the ski. I have no obligation to them whatsoever other than to go and create awesome content for you guys. And that's so cool because Sea-Doo is a brand that I've been around literally since I was a child. My uncle had jet skis when I was younger. He had Sea-Doo Bombardiers or Bombardiers, however you pronounce it. And I used to ride those when I was like 10 years old. And so now to come through and at 32 years old, old man that I am to finally have one of my own to do stuff like this is really a dream come true. So I just want to say a huge thank you to Sea-Doo, but also more importantly than that, I want you guys to understand, and I say this in most of my videos, you can achieve whatever you want. You've just got to go out there and get it. 
you know, I, I kind of hedge my bets here, right? So I have enough saved that I could buy one, but luckily I ended up working out and partnering with Sea-Doo, so I got given one. But I already put that in place so that if that didn't come through, I could still do it because I wanted one that much. And that's the thing, guys, if you want something, all you've got to do is work for it. And I know people have different situations, different circumstances, but 99.999% of the time, the only person getting in your way is you. Um, and this today has just been like a, a real special trip for me. Like I said, I've been out in it a few times, but to be able to come out and do like a bigger adventure and film it for you guys and get you guys in, it makes me enjoy it more. When, when I can share it with you, even though I'm just out here by myself talking to a GoPro, when I can share it with you, it makes me enjoy it more. And so I hope you guys enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making them because life is good. Life is good. And uh, life is what you make it, actually. Life is what you make it. For some people, life isn't good. But I implore you, go out there, find your everyday adventure. I keep saying that. Find your everyday adventure. Work for things that you want, and you can do it too, guys. You really can. Okay, enough sentimental stuff. That's it. Now I think we're just going to kind of cruise back that away and likely see more dolphins. I want to see a whale. That is what I'd like to see. So, where are you, whales? No, I'll keep looking. Ooh, treasure. What is that? Oh, it's a plastic tray. Not really treasure. What am I gonna do with that? Hold on. What am I gonna do with this? Uh. Like that? We'll see. And there you go guys, just like that. We are back again, ready to load it up. I got the van over there waiting with the trailer in the water. So we can put this beastie back on, take her home, give her a spray down, put her to bed until the next adventure. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Like I said, this is a dream come true. So you do, thank you guys so much for partnering with me and for giving me the opportunity to go out and do these epic things on this absolute weapon. I can't wait to really put it through its paces. We've got Catalina trips coming up. Uh, I've got stuff to the Channel Islands. I wanna go down south. I wanna go to lakes. So much, guys, so much. This is just the beginning. I just wanted to show you guys what it was and give you an idea of what we're gonna do. We've got some treasure as well. So we'll go and uh, make sure that gets recycled. And uh, yeah, that's it. So guys, please remember, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That really helps with the whole algorithm thing. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and also linked below my sub channel because I'm gonna be putting more jet ski content on the sub channel as well. So go and subscribe to that one too. Um, and yeah, please remember, until next time, don't know anything I wouldn't do. See ya.